What's up good people and welcome or welcome back to my channel where we bond over our favorite TV shows, trending topics, and everything in between that we care about. So today, I am here with breaking news somewhat. It's only been a few days since I uploaded my original video on Todd Chrisley and his family and that he and his wife were officially on charge for bank fraud and tax evasion. And as of today, the jury has returned with their decision that both Todd Chrisley and his wife are guilty on all counts of said tax evasion and bank fraud. And according to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, the jury began deliberating on Friday afternoon and returned today, Tuesday afternoon, June the 7th of 2022, with a verdict of guilty on all counts. And as of now, the sentencing hearing will be set at a later date. And they are saying that the Chrisleys could face up to 30 years in prison. And so this article is actually giving a little bit more detail than I had in the previous video. So I wanted to specifically share this article with you guys. So it's saying that federal prosecutors who indicted the Chrisley Knows Best couple in 2019 said that the Chrisleys deliberately swindled at least $30 million from community banks from 2007 to 2012 by inflating their net worth to get loans and purposely targeted small banks that did less due diligence than the larger ones. $30 million! <laughs> $30 million! They going down. <laughs> I don't know. You know, some people get away with stuff that we can't get away with. But I don't know. Thirty, They swindled $30 million from small community banks. That's huge. And from 2017 to 2020, that's actually a short amount of time when you really think about it for $30 million. It then says Todd Chrisley filed for bankruptcy in 2012, erasing $20 million in loan debt. <laughs> wow. Okay, and so it then says the prosecuting attorney alleged that then actively hid millions they made from the reality show, which began in 2014, as well as 500000 in taxes Todd owed in 2009. They alleged that the couple actively evaded taxes going back to 2009. So you're still $30 million and you won't even get <laughs> at least pay the taxes on whatever you're actually claiming. <laughs> It's not smart. Oh my God. It then says Seven Seas Production, a company the Chrisleys created after the reality show began, was entirely under Julie's name. Julie is the wife for those of you who don't know. And they say that they did that so the IRS couldn't access income to reduce the 500000 Todd owed from 2009. I just can't believe that they stole $30 million and they wouldn't pay $500,000 to the IRS to get at least get them off of their case. That's crazy. It then goes on to say the Chrisleys were living in Metro Atlanta during most of their alleged illegal activity, but moved to Nashville in 2016. And this is when they downsized the house from the big mansion. And then also someone reminded me in the comments that their claim for why they moved was actually because their youngest daughter was going to college, going away to college in Nashville and they wanted to be closer to her, which sounds <laughs> crazy. But he was possessive. Like, um, we do know that those of us who watch the reality show, like he was very uh, helicopter dad, just like really obsessive with, um, he was a control freak, like, or is a control freak. Part of the reason why he got issues with his oldest daughter too. And we don't get into that. This, this verdict actually beat me to getting out my video where I'm going to kind of dig deeper into their story. This is wow. <laughs> this is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Oh Jesus. Okay. So it then says Bruce H. Morris, an attorney representing Todd Chrisley said, in his opening statement that the Chrisleys were victims of a man named Mark Brada, who oversaw his company, Chrisley's Asset Management, and did all of the defrauding without the couple's knowledge until they fired him in 2012. <laughs> it says Brada then went to the U.S. Attorney's Office and received federal immunity in exchange for evidence against the Chrisleys, he said. So, for those of you who didn't see the previous video, I put the card above for you. Uh, so you can go check that out. But for those of you who aren't aware, Mark Braddock is also known as AKA Todd Chrisley's ex-boyfriend, ex-lover, whatever they were. 
but they were in an intimate relationship. Both of them being married, they were in an intimate relationship um, for some amount of time. And they fell out at some point and then Todd Chrisley kicked him out of the company. And Todd is claiming one of the statements is that <laughs> that the dude did all of this. They didn't know nothing about it. And so he, I guess, collected the millions of dollars and handed it over to them versus keeping it himself. <laughs> the $30 million. <laughs> but anyway, they're claiming that he did all the defrauding in this statement here. But also Todd's uh, attorney said in the opening statement that Mark Braddock wanted to be Todd Chrisley so bad, like he was obsessed with him, not only as a lover, but like he wanted to be him. So it's so funny though, that scammers do that. Like they'll, they'll say, well, it's because they were jealous of me and they wanted to be me. Like everyone wants a fraudulent life and to have to eventually face the consequences like they're doing. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe because it's their mindset. They're always the ones who are like jealous of people and envious and you know, only seek for money and, you know, the love of money is the root of all evil. So that's not godly. So I don't want no parts of that. So, but they feel because their greed is based in that they, they project that onto other people. Like it's always about money or material things and all of that. That's the only reason why you're speaking out about me or whatever, which is, you know, that's their issue. That's, that's that the psychological thing they got going on. But anyway, so product is the person who ended up turning them in. So in the other video I did, I was reading where they said product actually created a fake email account or fake emails accounts in order to tip off the FBI and the IRS to what the Chrisleys were really up to. So this is very interesting. Well, I, I don't know. So I guess the show is over. I'm trying to now I can't remember. I remember reading something uh, a day or two ago about the new season or something. I don't know if they're in the middle of it, if it's completely taped. I can't remember now. Oh, I do remember, though, that they were, I think, already slated for They're in season nine and they were already slated for season 10. So I'm assuming that season 10 is probably going to get canceled. However, someone did compare it to. The Real Housewives of New Jersey with Teresa and her husband, I'm forgetting the husband's name now, where they both ended up going to federal prison as well for some things similar to this. I think it was bank fraud and things like that, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I know they went to both of them ended up serving time due to something with financial crimes. I do remember that piece. But what they did with them was while the husband went to jail and and Teresa continued to take the show and then she went off to jail and then now she's back on the show. And so maybe the Chrisleys will do something like that. I think part of the reason why Teresa was and her husband at the time, the ex-husband, were able to do it the way that they did it was because of the fact that they had young children. So they didn't send them both to prison at the same time. They let them alternate. I don't know if. Because the Chrisley's youngest son now, I think they said is 16. So I don't know if that really qualifies for them having, to, you know, for this. And the fact that they are facing 30 years, up to 30 years. And so I'm not sure about the Teresa um, and her husband, ex-husband thing because I didn't follow it that closely. But I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think that they're going to get anywhere near the 30 years? Because that's a hefty sentence. But they they took a hefty amount. Like, 30 million. So that's making me think that they, I would be surprised if they completely get off, but I wouldn't be surprised if they get a year or two or something like that. But you guys let me know. And some of you, you know, we got, we got all kinds of subscribers and viewers. You guys are uh, attorneys and everything else. So some of you may have more knowledge and experience of how this kind of thing might, might pan out. So just let me know in the comments below. Um, with that, that's all I have for this video. I wanted to give a quick little update since the verdict had just come out and let you know that the other video where we're just gonna dig a little deeper, do a little deep dive on, on the evolution of this family and like how we knew them, but just some of the things that may not be on the surface as far as knowledge about them now that we really know what was up with them. So, and it's interesting. It's because it, I've started doing the research. So it's, it's very interesting, very juicy for those of you who are into, you know, soap opera kind of stuff. <laughs> so I'll be bringing that to you at some point in the near future. But with that, if you've made it to this point in the video, please show your support by hitting that like button below. It definitely helps us grow. 
Also, if you are new to this channel or returning and you have not yet subscribed as of yet, this would be a great time for you to subscribe and join one of the most evolved subscriber families in these YouTube streets. And if you want to connect with me on a closer level on one-on-one, -on -one, being able to text me, uh, get a little insight into the behind the scenes of this channel and me myself, feel free to join our VIP text community. And it's just as simple as sending me a text message saying, Hey Vail, and that officially makes you a part of the VIP community. And other than that, until next time, until I upload the next video, make sure to take care and be blessed. Peace. Hey, popping like I'm post to watch out for the people that ain't close to speak a little something you could toast to. I ain't trying to hear about what you won't do. Moving like I'm into hit the ground running like the rent do. Speak a little something that you're into. I ain't trying to hear about what you've been through. Like, hold up, hold up, say what's the hold up. I got the pack, who got the roll up? I'm trying to pull up. It seems like every time I show up, it gotta go up. See the drip, they see the glow up. Oh, now they know us. See, it's funny how my pockets out of shape, but I fit for the flex. Clear the phone call, hit my chick with a text. Parlay through the bird with my drip from the jacks. Save a couple hundred by your with the rest. I